In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn ChatGPT into your own custom assistant that can connect to any application you're currently using, your CRMs, your communication channels, your invoice generators, any tool that's available already on Zapier or Make. I can show you in this video how to turn GPT uh, into a connector of all those things, right? So what I'll do, I'll, I'll show you an example. I have this one that sends emails and creates Google Docs for me. So I can say, let's send Let's send an email to this address about um, the best dog breeds. So what'll happen is it'll do an action in here. It'll confirm with me to actually use this webhook from make.com. And now it's gonna confirm that this has been sent. Um, I have this going to my drafts. So as you can see, I've got best dog breeds. Um, hey, Bennett, I hope this finds you well. Here's some information about the best dog breeds. Not the cleanest looking email. I haven't given this much, um, you know, context. It's mo more just a proof of concept. But if I do another one, I can show you a Google Doc example as well. So, hey, create Google Doc about best types of sushi. So I have this one as a separate custom action in this custom GPT. And this will ask if I can use this, if it can use this webhook again. Cool, the best types of sushi has been created. I'll go into Google Drive and here it is, the best types of sushi. Um, and this was created, let's see. Boom, cool. So um, yeah, that's how it works. So I have these set up as different make scenarios. And the way I'm actually triggering these actions through custom GPT is I have these set up as webhooks. So webhooks are basically just like, um, you know, data highways for things to travel across. You can use these in, in make or Zapier. And basically all you have to do is create a webhook here and then have anything afterwards um, an action to complete after the webhook is received, right? So I'll show you from A to Z how to do this, how to create the actual GPT agents and how to create this stuff and make and get this whole thing working. All right, so first step is going to be going to ChatGPT. All right, so first step, we're gonna to go to explore GPTs, go to create. And now we're gonna to go to, you know, name this, whatever. Description doesn't matter. We're gonna to go to create new action. So here is where we actually add in um, a certain type of schema that ChatGPT can read, and it's going to be uh, using this to pass data through the webhooks into make.com. So the way to actually get this schema here is going to be to use another custom GPT that, that OpenAI has created called Actions GPT. So now in a separate tab, I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT. I'm gonna go back to Explore GPTs. Um, and if I say GPT another thousand times, please uh, don't be, <laughs> don't um, hold it against me. So I'll search GPTs. I'm gonna search for actions GPT here. I'll do start chat. And what I can do here is I can say, um, here, I'm, I'm gonna wait on that for a second. So let's go into make.com now. So make.com is kind of like Zapier, kind of the same thing. Um, this will be pretty much identical in both platforms. This allows us to receive data from a webhook and then do some action after we receive that data. So I'll start off here with a webhook. So in make.com, I've got a new scenario. I'm going to add what's called a webhook. This will be a custom webhook right here. I'll do add, I can do save, and then I'm gonna copy this address. This is the most important part. We're gonna be sending data to this URL. So I'll click okay, and I'll just save this, right? And I'm gonna do, um, immediately as data arrives. I can even just start running this so it receives whatever I put in. Now what I'll do is in Actions GPT, I'm gonna say, I am going to be sending emails. This is the webhook to send data to. Cool. So this will give us the whole schema that we need to enter back into our custom GPT uh, right there. So I'll copy this code. Now I'm gonna paste this in the schema and we should have no errors here, um, so it looks good. Privacy policy, just enter in you know, some random websites privacy policy, honestly, it doesn't matter. Cool, um, I'm gonna do create here. 
and this should be fully functional at this point. So I'll view the GPT. And to make this easy, I'm going to make sure this webhook is still giving me the, the ready sign. I might even just stop it and rerun it. Um, and what I'll do now is I'm going to say send email to about cats. You make it up. Cool. So this won't actually do the email just yet. Um, this is going to give us all of the data we need. So as you can see right there, we've got the subject, the body. The most important part about that step is now I can easily map this into a Gmail module. I can do create a draft. I can now um, map up all the data that we just received. So two, I can do subject, I can do body, and I can choose the folder I wanna have this save to. So we'll just do drafts. Cool. So I'll do OK. I'll save this. I'll go back. I'll make sure this is on still. And from this screen, I can see when the data is received and what's going on. So let's try that one again. This time it's actually hooked up. So I'll say send an email, um, let's do about the history of history of Los Angeles. This will give us the request to send another action here. So I'll confirm. If I go back, we see the webhook is received. Now it's creating the draft in Gmail. And if I go back in, the history of Los Angeles is right there waiting for me. So that's just one instance of me building this in what, seven minutes. But imagine what you can do considering that Make and Zapier have integrations to thousands of applications. Look at all this stuff. So you could do, you know, stuff going into Slack. You could have creating Google Drive folders. You could even start a process that, that uses multiple modules, right? So let's just say I want to have a whole onboarding sequence. Um, and I can just do a ton of stuff, right? I can, it's like the capabilities here are endless. The whole point of this video is that you can actually trigger all these automations just from GPT, which will function like a world-class assistant, right? Imagine an assistant that you can just prompt in a chat window that can schedule reservations for you, that can send emails to all your, your inbox, that can read your inbox and give you a summary of it daily on what you need to respond to. So the applications here are endless. I hope this video was helpful. Um, all of my best stuff is in my school community down below. It's free to join. I just like to keep all the best stuff for those who are in the tighter circle, let's say. So um, hope to see you in the next video and like and subscribe if you haven't already for more stuff just like this.